Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to save time and money by replacing imaging for operating system deployment with Microsoft's modern management solution, Windows Autopilot. I really believe in keeping things as simple as possible and Autopilot is certainly a great idea and you should definitely take a look at it if you're already invested in the cloud or plan to be in the near future. In literally just a few clicks, you can have Autopilot configured and devices registered so that they boot with a customized out-of-box experience and are automatically joined to Azure Active Directory. System Imaging has been around for decades to deploy customized images to Windows devices. Creating a customized image involves reinstalling Windows to replace the installation provided by the OEM vendor, customizing Windows features and settings to a known and desired desired state, and then generalizing the image so that it can be installed on any hardware. Once you have your image ready, you can use solutions like Windows Deployment Services, the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, or Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, or a similar solution to distribute your image to your endpoints. But system imaging can get complicated quickly, especially if you have lots of different hardware to support because you need to make sure that the right drivers are injected. There are also decisions to be made about whether to use thin imaging where no or a very minimal amount of software is installed or fat imaging where you install all of the necessary software in advance so that users can get working with their devices faster. But images have to be updated and maintained to include any updates to Windows or software that you might have pre-installed. And of course you need to test and validate your images to make sure that they work on all of your supported hardware. While system imaging is not going away, Microsoft has another solution which it believes is more efficient. Windows Autopilot lets organizations have OEM vendors ship the devices directly to users with the vendor's own image pre-installed on the device. Autopilot then takes over when the user boots the device for the first time and automatically joins it to Azure Active Directory, enrolls it with a mobile device management service, and it allows organizations to customize and brand the out-of-box setup experience. Microsoft's take on this is why spend so much time creating images when vendors have put so much effort into optimizing the images and making sure that all the right drivers are in place. And the answer to this is often well because we want to remove all of the bloatware that comes with the default image from the vendor. But Dell, HP, Lenovo and others all have options where you can request that all third-party software is removed from the default images and Microsoft says that failing that, you can just use Intune to remove any software that you don't want. It sounds like an interesting idea, right? So let's have a look at how Autopilot works. Autopilot is really quick and easy to set up, especially if you have Azure Active Directory and Intune already in place. The idea is that devices registered with Autopilot boot with an organization's customized out-of-box experience. When Windows boots for the first time, it establishes a connection to the internet and then checks if the device is registered with Autopilot. If it is, it uses the organization's customized out-of-box experience and joins the device to Azure Active Directory. If not, the user is just presented with the standard Windows out-of-box setup experience. Experience. Vendors can generate the hardware IDs required for Autopilot, send them to you, and then you can upload them to Microsoft. Or you can give vendors direct access to your cloud tenant so that they can directly upload the hardware IDs. Alternatively, you can use a PowerShell script that generates a CSV file with the hardware ID for the device, which you can then upload to Microsoft yourself. If you decide to harvest the hardware ID yourself, you'll need to reset the device using the standard recovery tools in the Windows Settings app before you ship the device to the user. You should make sure that an autopilot deployment profile is assigned to the device in Intune before you reset it but more on that later. You can see on the screen now how I easily generated a file with a hardware ID using PowerShell. The script was automatically downloaded and run and the output file saved to the HWID directory. 
OEMs use a special tool to capture hardware IDs, so it's even simpler for them to harvest this information and provide it to you before devices are shipped. User-driven deployment is the standard deployment mode for autopilot. But if you'd like users to be able to get working faster, pre-provisioned deployment, or white glove provisioning as it's sometimes called, lets IT do some of the work up front so that when you ship the device to the user, they can get working faster. Before you start configuring Autopilot, you should make sure that your company branding is set up in Azure Active Directory and that auto enrollment is enabled for mobile device management in Intune. Before devices can be set up using Autopilot, they need to be assigned an Autopilot deployment. Autopilot deployment profiles are assigned to groups, which in turn include your devices. You can configure deployment profiles to set the deployment mode, so for instance user-driven or self-deployment, whether the device is joined to Azure Active Directory or hybrid joined to Azure AD, and other options that hide various parts of the out-of-box setup experience like privacy settings. And that's it. When you boot an autopilot registered device, you'll see it start with your company branded and customized out of box setup experience. You can optionally install software and configure Windows settings and features using your chosen MDM solution. While Autopilot can save you a lot of time in creating and maintaining system images, it's not suitable for all situations. If you're fully invested in the cloud or at least plan to have a hybrid setup, then Autopilot might be an option. But it doesn't work without Azure Active Directory and some kind of mobile device management solution. And to enable MDM auto enrollment, you're going to need at least one Azure Active Directory premium subscription and an MDM license for every user. If you have or plan to use a hybrid Azure Active Directory and Windows Server Active Directory environment, then Autopilot becomes more complicated to use because every device that you want to register and set up needs to be able to communicate with a domain controller. And for remote devices, that means using a virtual private network or VPN, and Autopilot does support that scenario. But setting up and maintaining VPNs and configuring Intune to work in a hybrid AD environment is more complex than the scenario that I described earlier in this video. So unless you already have those pieces in place, you need to think about whether Autopilot is the right solution for you. And while Intune management of Windows has got better with each new Windows 10 feature update, including improvements to Intune itself and the recently announced settings catalog, it still doesn't provide the comprehensive set of controls you get with Group Policy and Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Although managing and setting up Windows with Intune, Autopilot, Windows Update for Business, and the cloud reporting features is a perfectly realizable goal, you will have to give up some of the fine-grained control that you get with the on-premises management solutions like Group Policy. Autopilot is almost beautiful in its simplicity. When I think about how time consuming it is to build and maintain system images, and then the difficulty of deploying them with complex tools like Windows Deployment Services and Configuration Manager. Autopilot is a shining example of Microsoft's modern management platform and how it can be used to simplify OS deployment and reduce costs. It's just unfortunate for organizations that want a hybrid Active Directory environment, but for large companies that already have the necessary pieces in place, then Autopilot could be a great solution for deploying Windows. If you'd like to know more about how Autopilot works and specifically about how to recover Windows using Autopilot, then join me and some other great speakers on April 13th for the Petri IT Knowledge Base Get It Backup and Recovery One Day Virtual Conference. It's free to register and I'll put a link in the description below. If you got value out of the video, then please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see similar content from me, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you think about Windows Autopilot in the comments below. There are also some of my previous videos that you can see on the screen right now that you might find interesting. But that's it from me today and I'll see you next time.